Hello, 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 saints. <clears throat> this is Prophetess Adams coming live straight from the schoolyard. Briefly, just for um, words for the soul. I just wanted to come on here real quick and just love on you all a little bit just to give you some good encouragement today and just let you know that um, we just need to trust God. Just trust in the Lord with all that's within you. Um, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, as it says, um, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. <clears throat> trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Amen. Lean not to thine own understanding. Lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He will direct thy path and everything that you do and everything that you are lean not to your own understanding. This may not be in the natural for us to understand. No, but if you trust in everything within you, if you trust in God, if you guys just trust in God, just trust in God, just trust in God. God knows. God knows all. God seeth all. God sees your situation. God knows. All we have to do is Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, and it reads such as this. I beseech, I beseech ye, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. See, that's the key. We must present ourselves to God holy. See, we must be holy. If we ain't holy, we ain't acceptable in the sight of God. So I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what the situation is. I don't care how big it must it may look, how big it is. God is able. He knows all and he sees all. And all we must do is a prerequisite. It's a prerequisite. I don't know if you guys caught the message a few weeks ago, but this is what it is. The Holy Bible is a prerequisite. If you do what it says do, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, all thy mind. Lean not into thy own understanding. If we present our bodies holy and acceptable, he will not withhold any good thing from them that walk upright before him. Holy is walking upright. We must live upright. We must walk upright. But I just want you guys to know, rather you are in that position to be acceptable today or not, know that God loves you. And rather you know it or not, God cares. He sees all and he knows all. And rather you can get a prayer through for yourself or not, we're praying for you. I'm praying for you. I'm travailing for you. I love you. God loves you best. And he wants the best for us. He wants the best for all of us. He wants the best for you. And all we have to do is trust in him. Lean not to thine own understanding. Like it says, Romans 12, 1 and 2. Now I beseech ye brothers by the mercies of God, present your body a living sacrifice. That's a prerequisite. Come on, saints. We must present our bodies holy. That's the only way we can be acceptable in his sight. I don't care how many tongues you got. I don't care how long, how many theology schools you think you might have went to. I don't care what you think you may know. But if we're not living and walking holy, see, then we're not acceptable unto God. Amen. Hey, hey, guys. <laughs> I'm out here on. The, I'm out here doing me a praise break. Okay. <laughs> So I decided to do it with you guys today, okay? So this is some words for the soul um, with me, Prophetess Adams. I love you guys. I love you once. I love you twice. I love you three times. Good afternoon, sis. I see you, Miss Ross. Good afternoon. Hey, brother Fitzgerald. How are you? How are you? How are you? Go ahead, Prophetess. Prophetess, don't you get out here start nothing, Prophetess Brown. I see you. I see you, ma'am. Don't you start no on be no. Now, I'm just saying we have to, it's a prerequisite. We have to do this thing God's way or it's the highway. Amen. And that don't mean he don't love us. He love us, but he gave us a freedom of choice. See, we got every choice. We got choice to make. You're going to live holy and upright or you're going to live reckless and ruthless. We all know what it is. There's only two ways of life. You're either going to live righteous or you're going to live unrighteous. You're going to live righteous and be in heaven and reign with him and, ju and be with us in the clouds and we're going to judge the rest. Or you're going to live reckless and you're going to bust hell wide open. I'm the sister that ain't going to lie to you. I am. That's who I am. I'm that sister who ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you what it is. Cut and dry. We ain't coming out of all these different man-made theologies. We ain't talking about none of that. We coming straight from the Holy Spirit. Straight from sound doctrine. Straight out the word of God. Wholesome's word of God. The Holy Bible. Get you a King James Version. To get the messenger. To get the NIV. To get all that foolishness. I don't know if you know it yet, but I'm going to be the first to let you know if you don't know. That is man's theology. It's not the words of God. Amen. And I got scripture. Y'all know I'm a Bible girl. I got scripture. Mm -hmm. Nope. I ain't been to nobody's theology school either. 
just humbled myself before the word of God, humbled myself and in due season, he exalted. That's what he'll do. It's real simple. It is real. It's real simple. <laughs> I love you guys. I've got to go. This is Prophet Adams with our praise break. Okay, with some words for the soul. Know that I love you. Be encouraged. If you need a word of prayer, if you need me praying for you, please email me, prophetessadamsministries at gmail.com. I love you guys. I love you so much. Be encouraged and know that God loves you as much as I do. God loves you more than I do. I can't love you as, half as much as he does. But I do want you to know, begin to take some inventory. Find out where you stand with, with God. Find out where you are with God. Amen. Because he loves us and he cares. And it's, it wasn't meant. It wasn't meant for us to die and go to hell. It was, it was not meant. Hell was, hell, the Bible reads that hell has enlarged itself. And it has enlarged itself because the saints of God has went from saints to ants real fast. Amen. Because they've gotten themselves just as puffed up with the same pride that the fallen angels had. Amen. That the, de the devil and his, his third of the heavens had. And I'm just saying this to say, we must take some inventory. We must re revitalize the blueprint and we must sit down and we must revitalize this thing and get this thing together. Holy and ex holy. I don't know where our angry birds are coming from, but that's okay, baby. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. It is what it is. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Um, that's what it is. We're going to have to sit down, revitalize the plan, come up with a new plan that's, that's um, in sync and parallel to the word of God. Because if it's not the word of God, it ain't it ain't the wholesome words of God. Man, man is running around here with all these different divers tricks in, uh, 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 of his own theology. See, God's thoughts is not our thoughts. His ways is not our ways. So if you run, if you're running into the theologies of man and if you're going on to pleasing man and not God, you're in error. So I just come just to let you know real briefly that God loves you and he cares. And we have some. The Bible is full of prerequisites. And we have to comply. Either we're going to comply and we're going to get this thing together or we're going to do our own thing. And at the end thereof, we're going to find out that we didn't bust tail wide open. So I just know that I love you guys and I don't want to see that happen. You know, I mean, God don't want to see it happen. His spirit is in his soul. He just is grieved in his spirit as, 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 as any parent would be to see their children lost. Amen. So know that I love you. This is Prophetess Adams coming from your live from the school grounds. Okay, with some uh, words for the soul. So have a great rest of your day. Be encouraged. Know that I love you. Blessings. Bye-bye.